Mary's cooking. <laughs> what are you cooking tonight, Mary? I'm gonna make some paella. Some Spanish paella with some chicken and shrimp. We don't have the oysters or the chorizo, but we'll keep it as simple as we can here. Probably use about like half this bag or so. Um, and then I'm just gonna let it, it's still a little frozen, so I'm gonna let it um, thaw out with some lemon juice and Old Bay, Old Bay seasoning. Let's see if I can get this open now that my hands are. There we go. Alright, get some old bay on top of there. I'm gonna do this without dumping it all. Alright, we'll let that defrost. We'll go ahead and get the, uh, go ahead and light the disc. Get some olive oil started in here. Pretty good amount, actually. To save time at the campsite, I already diced my peppers and onion. I'm gonna put this in here and add a little garlic to it. This is the base of our paella that we call so frito. So we'll get that started. So I started with one red pepper, one green bell pepper, and one onion. I'm gonna put in some garlic now. Uh, typically I do fresh garlic, this is just easier at camp, and I'm a little generous with my garlic. I like a lot of garlic, so... I'm gonna let this cook until the onions are somewhat translucent, and while I let this cook, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna chop up uh, some Roma tomatoes. I got three Roma tomatoes to chop up, and then we're gonna add in the saffron, paprika, paprika, however you say it, salt and pepper, um, and we'll go from there. So like I said, I'm just going to chop up, uh, I'm going to try to chop them up as fine as I can, these three tomatoes. Please don't judge my knife skills. So I'm just, uh, I'm going to chop these tomatoes as finely as I can, real quick. Um, no judging the knife skills, not classically or professionally trained in these. In fact, you'll see lots of band-aids on my fingers for this very fact. Reason, for this very reason. See, anybody wants to offer me some knife classes? Take you up on them. I'm trying to keep the seeds out of the tomatoes as much as possible. Mostly because it's a personal preference. Alright, so the onions are about translucent, so I'm going to put my tomatoes in there with the onion uh, and bell pepper mix, the sofrito. I've got my three tomatoes, I've got a bay leaf, I've got saffron, these little threads of saffron. I got them at uh, Casa Plus World Market and it looked like this. Um, and then some uh, salt and pepper and paprika. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there now with the, the sofrito. Alright, now the saffron, I'm just going to go ahead and use the whole thing in there. I like as much as I can get there. I'm going to do about one teaspoon of paprika. And then some salt and pepper. And you can just use this. All right, I'm gonna stir it up and I'm gonna let it cook for about 10 minutes now while I chop up some chicken. But, uh, actually, but first, 
most important part. Uh, you can use wine. I have beer when I can, so I'm, I'm gonna put some uh, beer in there. About a quarter cup, and we'll get it stirred up. And a little bit for the cook. All right, first I'm gonna cut the fat off uh, the chicken, and then I'm just gonna um, cut it into thin strips. And this is going to go in there then with the, um, the sofrito and the tomatoes that we've got in there. And then we'll add the rice. It's actually not as a difficult a dish as I, I once believed it to be. Um, I'm sure there are probably more original ways to make this, but for a one, one pot campfire meal on the disc, uh, it, it turns out pretty, pretty nice. I am chopping up a little bit of fresh parsley to go ahead and, and put on the sofrito mixture with the chicken, so about two tablespoons or so. But again, kind of to your own taste. Oh, that looks looking good. A couple more minutes here and we'll get the chicken in. All right, so we got a package of boneless, skinless chicken thighs and uh, parsley that we're gonna go ahead and put here with the mixture. And I'm actually turning the heat up a little bit to get that cooking. Okay. All right, and we're going to add in two cups of rice, uh, Spanish rice. Um, long green rice is not recommended. Go ahead and stir that in there. And we apologize for the background noise. We're at a campground, so it's a little bit out of our control. We're going to mix it all together in there. And then we're going to add five cups of chicken broth. We try to get it all in a nice even layer. Um, and actually once the rice starts cooking, we're not going to stir it. We're going to shake it. Um, it'll create a nice little crust of rice underneath the bottom. And we're going to let it cook for 15 to 18 minutes, shaking the pan gently a couple times throughout that, um, that cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and get the chicken broth in there and we'll let it cook. So there's probably about a cup left in here. This is about six cups, maybe just a little bit more. All right, and we're gonna turn this down to medium low and we're gonna let it cook, like I said, for about 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll add the shrimp and the peas and we'll be almost ready to eat. So now we're just adding our shrimp. We're gonna add some shrimp that we had marinating in lemon juice and Old Bay. And we're gonna go ahead and just nestle that in the rice. Again, we haven't stirred it, just shaken it that enables this crust of rice to form on the bottom that's traditional for paella. I'm just gonna snuggle that in there and let that cook and we're gonna add some peas. I like a good healthy healthy dose of peas. All right we're gonna let that cook until the shrimp turns pink and we'll be about ready to eat. Oh yeah, it does look wonderful. Dinner is served. Here's your paella. Oh, Enjoy. thank you. That's wonderful. Welcome.